I'm back. In this lesson, we'll do a comparison of be verb questions with other verb questions. Please take a look at this diagram. Are you unhappy? Are they in the room? Two be verb sentences, questions. And do you want some fun? Do they need instruction? Other verb questions. Am I sad? Are we friends? Be verb. Do I have my notebook? Do we need more practice? I and we, other verbs. And here, is it seven o'clock? Is the student smart? Be verb. Does the clock still work? Does he learn quickly? The other verb. For be verb questions, we invert. You know, change the position of the verb and the subject. For other verbs, we precede the sentence with do or does and use the base form. Now, look at these questions. These are what we call or questions. They provide a simple choice of answers. Do you want coffee or tea? And the answer, tea, please. Well, maybe it's coffee, please. Does she need niacin or calcium? Niacin. Do they study French or English? French. Does the instructor want a pencil or a pen? A pen. Do I need a jacket or a coat? A jacket, or a jacket is fine. Does he suggest a newspaper or a book? A newspaper. These are really easy questions because they simply signal a simple choice. Yes or no, true or false, a binary choice. Now some practice. In this practice, you should say, and of course, it's important to remember to speak aloud, Say the appropriate question, okay? So you will hear the statement. The lesson is hard, and you will frame the question. Is the lesson hard? That's the be verb. Or you will hear, he studies French. And you will make the question, does he study French? That's the other verb. Got it? Okay. Let's try this. The lesson is hard. Is the lesson hard? Perfect. He studies French. Does he study French? They play the violin. Do they play the violin? Good. She's from Ecuador. Is she from Ecuador? They are happy. Are they happy? She bakes every Wednesday. Does she bake every Wednesday? I am a conductor. Are you a conductor? Yeah, good. The teacher pronounces well. Does he pronounce well? Good. She wants milk with her tea. Does she want milk with her tea? That's great. All right, in this exercise, you should write be verb questions or other verb questions. So pay attention to the base form of the verb on each line. So here's what you'll see. The lesson, be hard. And you make the question. Is the lesson hard? Okay. And here's the other variety. The man go Arizona. And you make the question, does the man go to Arizona? Go, of course, remember, needs to. Does the man go to Arizona? Or pronouns, of course. Does he go to Arizona? 
Okay, that's pretty easy stuff. So right now, pause your program, look at the study guide, and continue that exercise. So let's review. You saw the lesson B hard, and you wrote the question, is the lesson hard? Very good. Does the man go to Arizona? Or maybe you wrote, does he go to Arizona? Does the instructor speak carefully? Do we play the piano? Do they study English? Is the airplane large? Does it fly to London? Do you want an omelet? Do I need help? Great.